Yali Madad. I will start this session by reading the Farman of uh, Hazrat Imam Aka Sultan Muhammad Shah. May our souls be sacrificed to this Imam. Please recite the Holy Salvat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Purify yourself to attain heavens within this world. There is a huge benefit to attain heavens within this world. But it is hard to attain heavens while living life in this world. To attain heavens in this life. One has to be living within the ethics of the religion to be pure and firm on straight path. Do not hope that when you go to heavens, there you will have good food and will enjoy gardens. If you will think of attaining comfort like this, then you will get similar fruits, but you will not benefit yourself. For example, if you have a horse who in its youth has given you pleasures of riding on it and that made you very happy, then that horse becomes old and you cannot benefit from it. So you will leave it in stable and give it food. It is unable to work for you even if you give it green grass and water. It just lives in the stable to eat, drink and rest. Similarly, your hope of living in comfort of heavens is same as of a horse living in a stable. And this is how the heavens are a stable and you are like an old horse. Therefore, you have to hope to become an angel or even higher than that. Please say the Holy Salvat. Kalam Ayam Abin, 25th November 1903. Salvat Padhi, Allahumma Salvat. Paak bano to is dunya mein hi bihisht milegi. Is dunya mein bihisht hasil karne mein bada fayda hai. Magar dunya mein reh kar is zindagi mein bihisht hasil karna bohat muskil hai. Zindagi mein bihisht hasil karne ke liye mazhab ki hudud mein paak aur satcha rasta chahiye. To mein se umid mat rakna ke bihisht mein jau ge to haan achche khane aur baagon se lutf andoz ho ge. अगर इस तरह सुख हासिल करने की उम्मीद रखोगे तो तुम्हें ऐसे ही फल मिलेंगे लेकिन कुछ फायदा नहीं मिलेगा मसलन तुम्हारे पास एक घोड़ा हो वो जवानी में तुम्हें खुश रखे तुम्हें अच्छी सवारी कराए और तुम उस पर बहुत खुश हो फिर वो घोड़ा बूढ़ा हो जाएगा तो तुम उससे काम ना ले सको तो उसे इस तबल में बांध दो और उसे खाने के लिए कुछ देते रहो उसे हरा घास और पानी दो मगर वो काम भी ना करे यानी बैठे बैठे खाए पिए और सुख हासिल करे इस तरह तुम बैठे बैठे सुख हासिल करने की उम्मीद रखो तो तुम्हें बेहिश में मिलने वाले सुख और घोड़े को अस्तबल में मिलने वाला सुख दोनों बराबर है और यू बेहिश भी स्तबल ही है और तुम बूढ़े घोड़े इसलिए तुम्हें फिरिश्ता या उससे भी बुलंद मकाम पर जाने की उम्मीद रखनी चाहिए सलवार पर I don't know if your question was toward a particular uh, kind of heaven and hell, or you just want to understand the concept of heaven and hell. First, I wanted to mention this. In our tariqa, in Somali tariqa, you will not hear a single word about heaven and hell. When other than Ismaili Muslims, only thing you will hear is heaven and hell. I will die, I will go to heaven. I will die, I will go to hell. You will go to hell. They will go to hell. Or they will go to heaven or this will go to heaven. In Ismaili Tariqa, how do we say it? When you die, you will become one with the Imam. Those are the terms that we use. What does it mean? Because we know and have a living heaven. All right. I would ask her to display the two ayahs of the heaven so we can understand. While she is looking at those ayahs, the one will say that you will be entered into the heaven that you already know. The inter uh, the heaven will be brought near you. So to all the people of the world, of all religion, heaven is a place and hell is a place. 
where we will die and go. <coughs> to Ismaili, heaven is the home of Imam or living heaven of the Imam and we will go and become one with him. Actually, this is the same concept of the Islam, but since people do not understand Quran, they do not understand this concept. Where Allah says, you are from me, and you will return back to me. That's what he's talking about. That you are from my nur, and you will return back to my nur. We are from one single soul, and you will go back to your original soul, or the higher soul. And we will try to understand all this. But what I wanted to emphasize on, the understanding of heaven and hell to all the people, except Ismaili. All the people, including Muslims, Christian, and all the other religions, is the place that you will go to. But in our Tariqa, because our Tariqa, we understand that everything is living. The key principle that we can take today, everything is living. Meaning, heaven is living, hell is living. Everything is living. It's not a place that you will go to. And Imam has given us this example and the Furman that if you think of heaven as a place, then it is an example of a stubble where horse lives. And that's what you want? You want to die and go and live somewhere? Or if you think of a heaven where you will be given fruits and the food, then you have the food and fruit in this, on this earth. Why are you going to heaven to take this fruit and, and the uh, fruits? What will be your objective to have the food when you no longer have a physical body which requires the food? And what are you going to do with the fruit and the energy of the fruit where you have no longer physical body which need that energy from the fruit. In our tariqa, and we're gonna, we will find, we have found the Furman for you, we have a Ginan for you, and we have a Quran Ayat for you. I'm gonna quickly remind you of the Ginan, and then we will go to this Ayat. Pisadadin says, Mara momen baine dejo beshth didar. Give my momin by the didar of the behesht. If behesht is a place, there is no didar of a house and a home or a place. Didar has to do with the face. Our heaven is living, so whoever is my momin, when the piece says my momin, Meaning, whoever follows me, mm. Ya Mula, gives them your didar. Do we see? It's hard for us to understand Ginan if we don't have any concept or if we don't have any principle to apply. Once we understand this principle, the Ginan, the Farman, the Quran, everything comes together in one place. In our tariqa, and I'm taking this from Quran, because Quran is for us to understand. Quran is for us to understand. And in Quran, this ayat, how would you explain this ayat to me if heaven and hell was a place? If heaven and hell was a place? It says, Or one is jannat me le jayenga jisse unne shanasa recognize kar diya hai. Do we know where this heaven is? Do we recognize the heaven? How would he take us to the heaven which he has made available to us so we may recognize? The physical heaven will not make sense here. 
because recognition has to do with the personality i know akbar i know barkat bhai i recognize him main aisa kabhi nahi bolta hu ki mere ko barkat bhai ke ghar ka didar ho hai main kya bolunga barkat ka didar ho hai yani maine barkat se mulaqat ki na ki maine uske ghar se mulaqat ki it does not make sense और उन्हें उस जन्नत में ले जाएगा कि जिसका उन्हें पहले से ही शनासा बना रखा है रिकॉग्नाइजेशन यू वर्ड इधर यू विल नो विच जन्नत यू आर गोइंग इन टू एज ए स्माइली डू यू नो विच जन्नत यू आर गोइंग टू बिकॉज इससे हम मर के इमाम में जाएंगे यू ऑलरेडी रिकॉग्नाइज योर जन्नत देखा आपने Why we don't say heaven and hell in our tariqa? You always say, "Hum mar ke imam mein ek hoge." You already know this heaven. You already know it. Second ayat. Abhi is jannat ko tumare kareeb laaye jayega. ठीक है? Kareeb laaye jayega. If you was a place, maybe it's a mobile home. They're gonna bring it to your home. No, it's not, right? Usko kareeb laaye jayega. Let's read the ayat, and I'll show you how far it will go. While she is pulling that up, can I read this another farman, which is from Book 313, Farman Mubarak, again from Kalam Abu Bin Sultan Muhammad Shah. So, because the terms which we speak, Barkat Sahib just mentioned asal makam for bihish, right? So we need to understand how the language vocabulary changes. प्लीज डिसाइड द होली सलवाद अल्लाह महमद इस दुनिया में दो किस्म के मोमिन हैं जिसमें एक जिसम के मोमिन हैं और दूसरे रूह के हैं जो जिसम के मोमिन हैं वो यहाँ ही खुश होते हैं इसी दुनिया में खुश रहने में खुश हैं उनकी जगह जमीन में होती है ये बड़ाई के मोमिन हैं वो बिला जमीन में ही जाते हैं दूसरे जो रूह के मोमिन हैं वो ऐसे होते हैं कि दीन के काम में आगे ही आगे कदम बढ़ाते रहते हैं वो रुकते नहीं हैं वो मोमिन मुसलसल आगे बढ़ते ही रहते हैं ऐसे लोग बेहिश से भी ऊपर जाएंगे बेहिश से भी ज्यादा पाक एक जगह है वहां रूह को पहुंचना है तुम में से तुम्हारी निस्बत जो ज्यादा अकलमंद थे वो हमारी राह पर चले मसलन मंसूर चला मंसूर के लिए बेहिश्त मौजूद थी लेकिन वो कहता था कि सिर्फ बेहिश्त में जाकर क्या करूं जब तक मक्स को नहीं चखूंगा तब तक वापस नहीं लौटूंगा आगे बढ़ूंगा रूह की असल ख्वाहिश है वो और ही जौहर है जब असल का इल्म ना हो तो क्या हासिल तो यहां से जो लफ्ज आता है असल असल में वासल एसेंस so the second of this jannat aur yahan par key word hai yahan par aur jannat parizgar ho underline word righteous aur jannat parizgaron ke liye bilkul kareeb karke di jayegi zara bhi dur nahi hogi zara bhi dur nahi hogi bahut kareeb hogi lekin what is the condition for all For the righteous. Show me the chart again of Hudud the Din. Let me show you. Which way the Jannat is carried by? Jatiye. Subhanallah. Arabic. Me. If you have the Quran, then underline the word. Mutakin. Hum kaha par the? We were nowhere. Momin. Okay. Let's say Mola ne hum par merbani ki hai aaj, and we are on the level one. Musajib. Okay. and then mola bless us during diamond jubilee and may us die die may do do you see how close we are to imam now so we do yahan par ja par hum nazar bhi nahi aa rahe hain you see that he has brought us near him yahan se lekar yahan aa jana hai humko okay and then when peer says मेरे मोमिन भाई को बेस्ट दीदार इफ यू फॉलो दीर होपफुल इमाम से लिंक बाय लिंक 
come close and closer to nur of the imam this is the link he is talking about it was not a metal link you are going to climb on this is the link he is talking about link by link step by step rank by rank come close to the nur of imam the forman she was just reading and we said imam is a living uh, heaven the forman says you can go even higher than that can you go even higher than this rank but the forman says yes we just heard because there are other ranks above it that we can go to and uh, another famous forman that we all have heard that you can p- become like pir sadardin like isa like angels and go even above it ye farman hum sab jaise hai right even above it to se upar kya hoga bhai here it shows ke iske upar kya hai theek hai now let's talk about the heaven and hell separately so but we understand the concept the heaven is a living personality not a place and we have given you proof from the couple of farman we talk about couple of ginans and we talked about the uh, two ayahs of the quran and we showed you how you can come close to their heaven how heaven will be brought near you one you will recognize ahead of time theek hai chala aa jaye हम खाली हेवन और हेल की बात करते हैं सेपरेटली ऑन अ जेनेरिक लेवल अगर हेवन द वे वी थिंक इज अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस वेयर वी वुड हैव टू डू नथिंग वी विल जस्ट सिट देयर एंड जस्ट एंजॉय द सीनरी एंड इफ यू गो टू द कुरान एंड लुक एट ऑल द रिफरेंसेस ऑफ हेवन एंड हेल the one reference that puzzles me about heaven and that is that there will be flowing rivers underneath flowing rivers under the heaven so maybe this heaven is a boat because there is a flowing river underneath so we will be in a cruise maybe or some kind of boat it will be rocking on a water floating on a water that puzzles me heaven a garden no problem i have no problem imagining that heaven but when is the heaven is on the water then that puzzles me so unless we understand the principle of the quran we will not be able to understand this heaven nor this flood flowing rivers so what does water stand for purity ill ill theek hai na ab simple alfazo mein apne kaise hai na aasan gujarati mein ha ke apne evi janat ma so ke ill ne knowledge par niche hai se apna subhan we will be in those heavens where even all the knowledge will be underneath you you will be above all of that all the knowledge can you imagine all the knowledge of the world and all the knowledge of the spiritual world it will be underneath you you will have cross all of that and if you again look at that ayat you will find the word righteous this heaven is for the righteous aur kisi ke liye nahi hai so how do you define righteous agar koi charity karta hai usko righteous bolte hain jo dua padhta hai usko righteous bolte hain kisko righteous bolte hain who is this righteous person the allah keep talking about righteous उस आदमी को बोलते हैं उस मोमिन को बोलते हैं कि जो एब्सुलूट इमाम के फरमान को फॉलो करता है एब्सुलूट 
मुलाकात लंदन का फरमान याद आता है 93 का कि मेक योर डोंट मेक योर रिलीजन कन्वीनियंट पर फॉलो योर रिलीजन विद कन्विक्शन आज कन्वीनियंट है जा रहे हैं फॉलो कर रहे हैं मतलब को कल कन्वीनियंट नहीं है नहीं जा रहे हैं नहीं फॉलो कर रहे हैं मतलब को आई एम नॉट टॉक जस्ट गोइंग टू जमा सना ओके आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉलोइंग द फरमान ऑफ द इमाम when is right for you when is convenient for you isko righteous nahi bolte hain righteous usko bolte hain ki jab convenient na bhi ho and then you follow their farman subhanallah that makes you righteous so you follow the imam farman to the last dot 100% and if you are that momin then the heaven will be flowing and uh, the water will be flowing underneath you because the imam will give you so much ilm so much knowledge that in this world you will be in heaven aapko marne ki zarurat nahi you don't have to die okay you do not have to die to go to the heaven heaven is available to a momin right here today right let's come back to concept of heaven again so question here is so what happens and let's say we are a good momin and after we die we will go to the heaven are we going to go directly and become one with the imam let's say that is our concept okay i'm not saying that's true I'm saying, let's say this is our concept. कि हम यहाँ पर मरेंगे, हम यहाँ पर इमाम में चले जाएंगे. Why are we losing our sleep every Sunday morning? Why are we losing uh, sleep every 3:30 in the morning, every day, and going to Jamaatana? If you supposed to die and go become one with Imam, then you don't need to do anything. Do we? Do we need to do anything, or we don't? Because our concept says you will die, and you will become one with the Imam. Logic says that is not true. That's what logic says, right? कि एक आदमी who doesn't do anything, and because he's smiling, and he dies, Mukhi Sahab comes, he gives chanta, and pray. Ya Mola. This Rani is coming, Your Huzur. Please forgive his sin. Please give him your Nurani Dedar, and please keep him in your uh, Nur. Oh, Jannat me chale gaya, boy. And then one moment, for a hundred years, he does everything right. He becomes righteous. He dies. Ya Mola, this Rani came in Your Huzur. Give him Nurani Dida. Keep him in your Nur. Who is the smart person here? One who didn't do anything and he still got the same reward and same heaven as the other person who did everything right for hundred years and received the same reward. That doesn't sound too smart to me. Meaning. There is a problem with our understanding. Mm-hmm. Not the concept is wrong. Our understanding mm-hmm. is not reaching where it needs to reach. So, pata chala ke there is a heaven. Now, there's your your question comes. There is a heavens on your way to the imam. There are the heavens. Show me the chart one more time, please. There are the heavens. On your way to Imam. Imam, your first heaven. You are living in heaven today. If you are here, you are already in heaven. This is your first heaven. Remember, it will be known to you and it will be close to you. And Barakah Sahib just explained how close is the heaven to you, just by taking admission and saying. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to take knowledge. 
and you are in heaven. Look at how easy that was. How close this heaven was to you. It was right in front of you. Right here. Now you are here and now you still wanted to go to heaven. This is your second heaven. Remember heavens? He didn't say heaven. Heavens. This is your second heaven. Now this is earth and this is heaven. Kis ke liye heaven hai? Is ke liye. What about this one? This is the heaven for this one. And this is the earth for this one. Ek taraf se wo asman hai, ek taraf se wo zameen hai. Asman la. Okay? And when we do the concept of hell, you will be so shocked, more than you are right now. I can see on your faces. Alright? Look at the heavens. Toward Imam. A woman who has not done anything. Mukhi Sahib is recommending him to be, become one with the Imam. I accept that. And I will say Amin. But you still need to cross the level. You still need to do that. Otherwise, a moment who does everything in this lifetime and is going to the same place as one who has not done anything, that would not be right and just of the Imam. An Imam is right and just. Mara Mola Chevo, Jiko Narake Bhar, Ekwar Sami Nali, Sami Ali Soso Bhar. So, those are the heavens toward the heaven of the Imam. And then Farman says, you can go even above that. Usse bhi upar ja sakte hain. Hamare concept ke andar yeh baat aana mushkil hai. Ke how do we go above the Imam? Hamare liye mushkil hai, right? Maybe once we get to the heaven of the Imam, he will show us that there are other heavens above him or within him. जो भी बात हमारे को हाथ मोती है, whatever we can digest, ठीक है? Today, tomorrow maybe in our study will be strong enough to digest other concepts. But today, there are other heavens above him or within him, and then I'm okay with that for today's lesson. But those are the heavens that we are talking about. If you pick up the book, Face of the Religion, Vajay Din. Written by Prince Nasir Khosrow, he talks about seven heavens and seven hell. Seven heavens and seven hells. How many numbers were before Imam? Nevin? Seven. Seven heavens and seven hell. He's talking about. Okay, but over there he's talking at the level of Sharia. So he gives the example of seven animals. Seven animals. Because he is talking about at the level of Sharia. Because we are talking about at the level of Hakikat, we have the ranks written down. So we may understand. Mullah says, Ek ilmali ruh. Underline what kya hai? Ek ilmali ruh. Darja wa darja. Upar jati hai. Subhanallah. درجہ و درجہ کہیں نہیں بولا کہ یوں جا کے چلے جائیں گے اوپر نہیں ایسا نہیں جائیں گے وہ درجہ و درجہ اوپر جاتی ہے you have to cross the steps اچھا کیا ہے اس زندگی میں and listen to this very careful پہلے میں اردو میں بولوں گا اور پھر انگلیش میں اچھا کیا ہے کہ اس زندگی میں ہم یہ ساری چیزیں بہت کم عرصے میں cross کر سکتے ہیں let's say पांच साल, सात साल, चालीस साल, बहुत कम अरसे में यू कैन क्रॉस ऑल दिस लेवल्स एंड बिकम वन विद इमाम विदाउट डाइंग, बिकम वन विद इमाम विदाउट डाइंग। इफ यू डू नॉट डू दैट, ओके? अगर आप ये नहीं करते हैं, तो वहाँ पर, यानी कि आफ्टर यू डाइ, इट विल टेक यू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इयर्स Compared to 40 years, 50,000 years. That's how long it takes to cross those levels. 
That's how long it takes. It is up to us. There is free will. Imam is not taking anyone's free will. You can do this in months, in a year, within your lifetime. And become one with the Imam before you die. Because heaven is close to you. You already know the heaven. You already have recognized the Imam. If you do, heaven is close to you. In this lifetime. You don't have to die. Or, with your free will, you can wait. Tahan wa karan. Willingly or unwillingly, you will become one with the Imam. It may take 50,000 years, so be it. That is up to us. Okay, this is the concept of heaven. Let's talk about hell for a while. 